over 10. How about that? They went so fast, guys, it's unbelievable. It's probably because we can't go nowhere. We are locked in, right? <laughs> but here, let me start off with this. How many of you guys that are watching the show lives in Texas or lives in Houston? And between the time of like 3 o'clock, no, I'm saying 1 o'clock, 1 o'clock and like 6.30 or 7 o'clock, nobody had a cell phone. Every time you dial somebody's number, it would just go to a fast, busy signal, or it wouldn't, you couldn't connect. That was crazy. I mean, the whole city was like that. So I called AT&T, right? And they said, oh, yeah, man, everybody's doing updates. T-Mobile, Sprint, uh, 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 AT&T, they were all doing updates. So then finally, about 7 o'clock, we all came up, and I'm like, wow. So, here's the million dollar question. How many of you guys are old enough to remember that we didn't have cell phones and the only phone you had was a phone that you had to walk to and put a dime or a quarter in to make a phone call or you had to dial from home and it was no three-way. It was only <laughs> calling and somebody had to put an emergency call through for them to get through your line. I'm sure Rob knows a little bit about that because, you know, he was in the era of when they had the wooden phones and you had to hold your head like this up to the wooden phones and ring it. Right, Rob? You, you, you know that era, that, right? is, that would be correct. Sir, yes. <laughs> so, to guys, thank you for joining us. Make sure you log in to CuvaceCulinaryCreations.com. If you haven't purchased your honey lime vinaigrette salad dressing yet, Make sure you go in and order your salad dressing. Go to the contact page and put salad dressing, and we'll get it shipped out to you today. Believe it or not, I had 16 bottles today, and somebody called and ordered all 16 bottles. So all I don't right. have one to show for you today, so, you which go. is awesome, right? We're moving product. We're moving product. We're moving product. Make sure you get yours. Today, we we're going to actually use the lamb as a test to marinate in the honey lime vinaigrette. But instead, I sold it because you know, money come first. Money come first <laughs> before free food. So we created a recipe for you guys. And this is a recipe that I've used uh, for a while, for maybe two or three years. It's awesome, 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 awesome. So we got lamb chops today. We have baby kale and we have orzo which is going to be a great mixture for you guys. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Some of the cities are opening back up, but listen, wear your mask. I cannot stress it enough. Wear your mask. Social distance, six feet. Wear your mask. A lot of people are starting to have parties, right? We will not do a party over 30 people. We just refuse to. So if it's below 30 people, we'll do it, and it has to be outside in order for us to do it so that we can be standing far away. Because, again, you know, people that are at my caliber in the culinary industry, it's hard for us to work right now because a lot of these restaurants aren't fully open. So when you got executive chefs that's making 70 80 Hundred and ten thousand dollars a year, the restaurants can't really justify them being here because they're not making that kind of money. So we have to be creative and we have to do some things to keep us busy until the city gets back open. And that's why most culinarians don't put all of their rabbits in one hat. We got a whole lot of things going on, from catering to private chefs to teaching to training. So. That brings me to this point. Now that we are at our 10, our 10 week mark, some of you guys have been asking for interactive classes. And I'm excited about that. My mother's a school teacher, so it's in my blood, right? So I can't wait. So if you're interested in an interactive class, it's a very, very small fee. So that you don't have to worry about anywhere between five and ten dollars for the interactive class and we will start from scratch and we'll go through some things and we'll take it through maybe a five-week course or maybe a ten-week course and we'll do it 
you guys determine whether we're going to do it on Saturdays, whether you want to do it on Friday nights, or whatever the case may be. You guys determine. Go to go to our Facebook page, Cuvée's Culinary Creations at Facebook. Go ahead and send us a message and say what day you would like to have the class, or if you're interested in the class, and we'll go ahead and get you logged in and get you signed up for the class. Any questions thus far? No. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started on these lamb chops. So one of the things during the COVID, I don't know if you guys recognize it or not, but some things are very difficult to find. And for me, the lamb chops were difficult to find. So they had center cut lamb chops, but I like the lollipops, right? I like the French cut lamb. So we found those. And believe it or not, damn, they were $21 a pound. Whoa. That's crazy, right? You we used to be able to find that for maybe 12 to 14. But $21 a pound is ridiculous. But I wanted to do lamb for our show today, so I got it. My dad sent me a picture of brisket, of a brisket in Sam's, and he was in Detroit. $7.87 a pound. That's crazy. The brisket was 11 pounds, and that brisket was almost 80 something dollars. Wow. So, beef, lamb, pork, all of that is really expensive right now. So, if you need to learn how to cook some things instead of using beef or ground beef, use ground turkey, sign up for the interactive class because we'll do a lot of ground turkey. It's also healthy for you. So, let's get started. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to marinate our lamb chops. So, as you can see, the lamb chops are French cut. And have, do you guys know how to actually do a French cut? If you don't, Chef's going to show you. So you need a piece of string. You need one of the lamb chops. You need to take the string. You can tie a knot in it, or you can just wrap it around the lamb, the leg of the, um, the bone of the lamb, right? And you're probably going to need a towel. And you're going to hold the lamb and you're going to pull. And look at that. How about that? You see that? And it's all clean, right? And you can do that for the whole lamp, for the entire bones. So, and one of the things that you want to remember also, this is called silver skin, and this you will not be able to eat. So you want to make sure that you're able to cut the silver skin off. Because you're going to chew and chew and chew and chew and chew and chew and chew on that. And it's you just gonna keep chewing. Sound like a record. <laughs> Maybe we should make a movie out. I mean, a song out of that, right? Chew it, chew it, chew it, chew it, chew it, chew it. Okay, so we got some popping over here. Yes, ma'am. Oh, they're using a string. What else can I use? Uh, you can use a knife. Here, I can show you this. You can take your knife and you can scrape the bone like this. Right? And you can get it off this way. Oh, yeah. But the but the string is the easiest. It's easy because you can just do it all in one, all in one while. Right? Yeah, but I got a, probably a knife around the house more than a string. Yeah. Well, yeah. But you can do it either way. By the time there I find a string, I could have did what you just did. With there you me. go. You could do it that way. But, you know, we like a little professional. Well, we okay. like a little easier. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got the lamb chops ready, rock and rolling, right? So now we're going to make our marinade. And in our marinade, we have two pounds of lamb. We have, uh, I think it's uh, uh, two ounces of lemon juice, I believe it is. Yeah. And then we have our olive oil, which is uh, two ounces. And then we have our uh, garlic, which is three tablespoons. And then we have our salt. And if you guys look at the front page of the- salt was that? The, the salt was, I believe it was two tablespoons. 
and then you have your black pepper, which is a half a two, a half a, a two, half a teaspoons, so a teaspoon, okay? And that's that's it. And then you have your mint, and your mint is two tablespoons of mint, four, four tablespoons of mint, okay? So you have everything all situated here, and you're going to whisk. Right, so technically what I like to do is I like to double my marinade recipe, so but you guys can follow it however you like, you can double it, you can triple it, however you want to get more marinade, right? Now this recipe calls for you to do about four hours of marinade, right? Uh, so you can marinate it overnight, or you can marinate it, I wouldn't marinate it no longer in 12 hours because the acid that's in the lemon juice is going to start to actually cook the lime, uh, cook the lamb and you don't want that to happen. So we're going to marinate it. While we're marinating our lamb, we're going to turn on the water to our orzo, to our orzo so that it can come to a boil, right? And in our orzo, we just have water and I'm going to add a chicken bouillon cube one chicken bouillon cube to give it a little flavor. And we're gonna take our lamb, and we're gonna put our lamb in a Ziploc bag. We're going to pour the rest of our marinade on top of the lamb. Okay. And you want to lay your, 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 take all the air out of your bag, and you want to leave your bag flat. And we'll put it inside the refrigerator. Okay. So we got our lamp. We'll sit this over to the side. Because Mr. Rye has already said, that Rob comes over here and he gets all the meals and she don't understand why she's never been asked if she wants one of the, the meals. Hey so her. Rob, you gotta hey deal, hey you don't have to deal with Soraya hey on her. that situation. <laughs> it's not up for discussion. <laughs> so we got our water working, right? So how many of you guys have tried kale before? Well, we know you have, Rob. You eat anything almost. So, have you tried kale? Kale is actually wonderful if it's prepared properly. So, there's two forms of kale. You have the whole kale, which you see in the whole leaf. It looks like collard greens almost, but it's a lot rougher. And then you have what you call baby kale. And the baby kale looks a little more like spinach, but it's a smaller version of the kale. So, the baby kale has a, a sweeter flavor than the, the, than the grown kale, if you will, right? And it cooks a lot faster. It almost cooks like spinach, but it's actually delightful. Um, and we're gonna use that today with some pesto. Now again, because of time frame, I bought the kept pesto, but um, you can find pesto at any of the normal stores. And maybe when we come into the interactive classes, you'll get a chance to experience making things like pesto and, uh, and some marinades and stuff. So now that our water is boiling, we're gonna add our orzo and we're gonna get it to a boil, I mean, bring it back to a little boil and we're gonna store it. So, so some of you guys tell me, answer this question. Is orzo a rice or is it a pasta? Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and get our Grill, nice and hot. So as our grill is working, nice and hot, we got another other pan working here with our, uh, we're gonna put a little olive oil in there for our kale and our, our orzo is working on a medium. Now our grill is hot and we're gonna go ahead and grill off our lamb chops. And I have some that's already grilled it in the oven so that you guys can see. Are there any questions thus far? No. 
No pasta questions thus far. Um, yeah? It's a pasta. It's not a it is a pasta. It is a pasta. Okay. It is a pasta. So one of the things that I want to talk to you guys about also is that remember the competition that we entered the salad dressing in? The HEB, the Quest for Texas competition that we put the salad dressing in? Well, that competition we found out Monday has been canceled. Oh, man. And that was, was a little heartbreaking for me because I was really banking on winning or being a part of the top 20. And then, you know, it's amazing how, how God works. So then one of our client, one of my clients, his name is Alvin, um, and he's probably on tonight. Now, this guy, he and I have ran into each other in HEB. We ran into each other at Kroger's. We ran into each other at Restaurant Depot. We ran into each other <laughs> at Sam's Club, and we just start talking every time we see each other. He's bought some of the salad dressing, and he just kind of told me, says, you know what, man, listen. Sometimes God puts you in a position to better yourself and not wait on people. And that's what we're doing. We're not waiting. We're not going to wait on ATV. We're going to keep moving. Right. You guys are going to go online, and you're going to start ordering this product. This product is in my four or five different states right now. We're going to continuously do it online until HEB is going to call us and say, Hey, Chef Ivory, we need to have a conversation with you. So come on in here, and then we'll deal with the competition. But right now, we're going to move this product. We're going to move this product. We're going to move this product. Questions? Good job. Okay. So Father's Day. Oh, my God. So we, myself, myself, and uh, Chef Deanna, who's in research and development for us, we both sat down and came up with a recipe for, I mean, a menu for Father's Day. So we have smoked turkey legs stuffed with brisket mac and cheese. Whoa. We have shrimp fettuccine. We have my famous Southern Cuvées fried chicken. We have possibly collard greens, depending on if we can find them or not. We have, oh uh, God, what else? Uh, loaded, loaded mashed potatoes. And then we have our famous holy moly desserts. You get that, it's going to feed a family of four for $110. Uh, I thought you were going to have a Father's Day dinner for all the uh, Rob, please. <laughs> Rob comes over every Sunday for dinner anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, so we got our grill nice and hot, right? So while we got our grill nice and hot, we're going to take our lamb chops, and we're going to sit it right there, and we're going to sear them. And then I like to take a little of the sauce and put right on top of the lamb. So that you can see the mint. So we get a nice little great, great, great color to that. Right? So while these are searing off, we got our orzo working. Right? You get all that Father's Day, you said? Huh? A family of four? A oh. family of four for $110. That's not bad. That's not bad oh, at all. That food. So we're going to stir our orzo. We're going to take it. Orzo is going to take you about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, it's, again, it's a pasta, but it's a little firmer than other pastas is concerned. It's going to take a little longer, right? So, we're going to keep letting it go. We've got to cook down really low here. we got our lamb cooking. So, it's, it's, it's the crazy part about this, guys, is how, is how creative, how creative we as a culture can be. 
<laughs> we can be real creative at times. So there's our lamb. We got the grill marks to the lamb. We're going to take the lamb, and we're going to set it to the side so that you guys can see uh, what it's going to look like. And then, Mary, if you can hand me the lamb out of the oven. And then we're going to take our kale, bottom of it. So one of the things when we bought this house, you know, I don't know if you guys, some of you guys are homeowners, but one of the things when we bought this house, we uh, hit the fan for me. <laughs> we had to give up some things that we wanted. And I gave up a gas stove because I have a covered patio and a double oven. <laughs> so that was one of the things that I had to give up. So, so now we got our skillet nice and hot for our kale. <clears throat> we're going to take our kale and we're going to add it and we're going to just basically saute the kale. <clears throat> I'm not going to use any garlic. I'm not going to use anything except for my pesto. And a little lemon juice because this is baby kale. And of course, a little salt pepper. So while the kale is sauteing, we're going to get our plates ready. Yes? Chef, I know I came in a little late, but where did, did you get the pesto from? Did you make it? Or did I you did not it? make the pesto. You can buy the pesto at any store. They can get it at all the local grocery stores. Now, we will make the pesto in our interactive class. So if you guys are interested in the inter interactive class, make sure you sign up for that. And you guys will learn how to make pesto. Uh, you guys will learn how to make marinades. So one of the things about kale is kale is still going to be crunchy and crispy. It's not going to be tender like a spinach or mushy like a spinach. Now once you have your kale, you're going to add a half of a chicken bouillon cube to it. Right? That's going to take away. And you're going to add <clears throat> just a tablespoon of water. That's it. Ariana, say, cook it up, daddy. <laughs> hey, daughter. How are you? Okay, so then we're going to take our pesto and we're going to add a half a tablespoon of the pesto because I probably could have used a little more kale. Questions? And that's it on the kale. Everything today was cooked at very high heat. Chris Walker wants to know. What Chris Walker? Doing. He's watching from Instagram, so they don't get the <laughs> menu. What are you preparing tonight? Chris Walker. Hey, man. Wow. Wow, Chris. It's been a while, man. So what we have prepared for you guys tonight is we have lamb chops, we have baby kale, and we have orzo. That's what we're preparing. And believe it or not, most of it is finished. So I think we're going to add just a little more water to the kale. There you go. Just to get that fun. Right? So. So. And that's almost it, right? Except we're going to use our microplane. Microplane? Yeah, microplane. <laughs> A microplane is basically <laughs> a grater, guys. But it's going to grate really, really, uh, really small. So we're going to put just a little uh, uh, lemon zest. Oh, so when and a little lemon zest. Gotcha. On the orzo. When the recipes call for lemon or orange zest. zest. 
That's you what use you'll use. What we call a grater, you call that <laughs> a, a microplane. Micro yeah. Okay. So, um, yes. Is this a sure one? No, what dessert would you pair with that dinner? Oh my God. <laughs> well, <Holy> this is a. <laughs> Soraya said, holy moly. So, um, jeez, stop. Tiramisu. Uh, oh, you know what? That would be nice. A tiramisu would be nice, but something that's light and airy, um, something like a mousse, a chocolate mousse, um, nothing heavy because this is a very light meal. So, we got our orzo. Compliments of your resident baker and dessert <laughs> specialist. Oh, we so, we got our orzo. No, that, oh. no. Yes. I know. Tiramisu. Oh, yeah, tiramisu. Yes. Oh, cool. There's our orzo. We're going to take our lamb chops. Now, guys, let me tell you. You do not eat lamb chops well done. They have to be medium. Okay? So we're going to take our lamb chops. We're going to take our kale. Never fails. <laughs> but I'm prepared today. We'll put right over. Just add just a little, little juice on top of the kale. Ooh. Uncle Rob, you're smiling too much. <laughs> Show's almost over. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to hit the outside of the plate with a little mint. So one of the things uh, that is a lot harder than what you guys think is plating. Uh, plating can be very difficult. Uh, this looks really nice, <laughs> I will say. So here we go, guys. Look at that. Those are your lamb chops. Now, we probably could have put a little more orzo, but that's okay. Look, there's your lamb chops. So again, if you guys are interested in taking some of our interactive classes, some of the classes will be desserts. Some of the classes will be stuff like pastas. Uh, shrimp dishes, lobster dishes. Yes? Where did you buy the chops from? <laughs> Man, look here. I went to four different stores. I went to Sam's twice, and I went to HEB, and they were $21 a pound, and I had to go back to HEB because I couldn't find them anywhere else. And these are the grass-fed chops. So they were a little more expensive, but they're going to taste a lot better. So Sam's do carry the lamb chops, and they carry the rack of lamb, and you can just slice them, and you can get the lollipops that way. Any more questions? Guys, so remember Father's Day brunch, uh, $110 for a family of four. You get a smoked turkey leg stuffed with brisket mac and cheese. You get Cuvée's Famous Fried Chicken. Or, if you want to be a little healthier, you can get the, uh, the baked chicken. You also get uh, 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 loaded mashed potatoes. You get shrimp fettuccine. Uh, and you get our specialty holy moly desserts. Chris, this is a wonderful meal for you because I know you don't eat, you don't eat any beef. You don't eat any red meat. And you don't eat any pork. So we got turkey. Oh, you can't get the brisket mac and cheese though, right? That's okay. We can make something else for you. The loaded mashed potatoes, we'll give you a double order of those. 
if you're gonna be in town. I don't know you guys. I don't know if you guys know Chris Walker. Chris Walker was El, Al Jarreau's band uh, for, uh, uh, music, director. music director for Al Jarreau. Uh, him and his brother, um, uh, what's, what's um, um, Ernest Walker. So they're good friends of ours. They've been by our house for dinner. We've had some great times. Uh, I owe you, Chris. I owe you. I owe you. In the dominoes, because when you came by the last time, you did beat me, but that's okay because I was trying to fry turkeys and everything else. So I will get you back. Don't worry about that. Um, I'm a great domino player, guys. I just let him win because I just wanted his ego to get a little bit. It's okay. And that way I can bring him down. So we got the lamb here with the with the um, orzo and the kale. Um, Ten dollar. Um, remember the. Um, the Father's Day meal, which is going to be amazing for you guys. If you're here in Houston, Texas, we're going to deliver it between 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock. Um, and we deliver free. It's contactless delivery. It's going to feed a family of four. And it's going to be wonderful for you guys. So, oh, uh, by the way, Dad, happy Father's Day to you. Live from Facebook. Your gift it's on its way. It's ordered today. So it'll get there Monday and you will be excited because you got a new toy to play with. Okay? Thank you guys. Yes? We have two questions. Well, yes. one question is do you ever use an air fryer? I have never used an air fryer. However, last two weeks ago, we dropped some food off and we had fried chicken for one of our clients who's having a, a 50th birthday party about two months from now, so we did a consultation for them, and he took his chicken that we had already fried and popped it in the air fryer to crisp it up a little bit. So, hey, you guys, uh, Ariane, Zephyr, Marquel, Sean, Leslie, Jeremy, Jordan, JP, wouldn't the air fryer be nice for Father's Day? How about that? <laughs> What's the next question? Just uh, Q2 said, don't forget. Oh, Q2. Happy birthday, grandson. Happy birthday. Man, he's 16. Little Marquel. Little Marquel is 16, right along with you, Soraya. Well, I'm technically 17. <laughs> but so, technically, Soraya's the oldest because she, no. Corey's, Corey's the, oldest. the oldest. And then Soraya, and then Q2. So, happy birthday, man. Happy birthday from Grandpa. Check your cash app. It's on its way. We got you. No problem. Is my cash app on Oh, my God, Soraya, please. <laughs> this girl is so hooked up on getting an upgrade for a phone now. She had a new phone three months ago, but now she needs an upgrade. Is that, like, crazy, guys? No. So when school starts back, guess what? Papa can pay for an upgrade after he sees the grade. Or you can work this summer and get your own upgrade. Question. Have you ever grilled a lamb chop or the on the grill. On the, oh, Outside. On the grill. If so, any special seasonings other than the unique Okay, so technically, I would have done this outside, but it's like 103 degrees here in Houston, so it's too hot, so I did it inside. You can do it on the grill. You need your grill to get extremely hot. If you're using the lollipops, the grill gets extremely hot. On lamb, listen. Basil was great, lemon is great, mint is great, pesto is great. Cuvée's Creations Honey Lime Vinaigrette is great. And you drop it on top of that grill, nice popping hot, about 450 degrees. Sear it, sear it. Turn the grill off and leave the, and leave the grill closed and just let the lamb rest there. And the lamb will be nice, nice and pink in the inside and it'll be cut up and be amazing. We had lamb lollipops for a wedding that we did about four years ago. And man, they still rave about them. So yeah, you can do them outside on the grill. Any other questions? Guys, sign up for your interactive classes. Sign up for your interactive classes. They'll be coming soon, starting sometime in July. Uh, we haven't decided on what day yet. We're gonna let you guys decide on the date of the interactive classes. And we're going to go through a lot of different things so that you guys can have some fun. Yes, right. What are charcoal pepper? 
I'm sorry. Oh. Would you prefer wood or tar stove? Neither. Uh, I use a gas grill for my lamb chops. Now, you can use charcoal, but I don't know. I've never had smoked lamb, um, so I can't really say anything about that. But I would recommend the charcoal um, because it's going to get the hottest for you. So that's not a problem. Yes? What am I missing? Oh, Corey's. Congratulations, Corey, for graduating from high school. And you got a scholarship. Uh, congratulations, Corey. I know you worked hard. Uh, I know it was a challenging year for you, but the best of luck to you in your college career. And I think that you're going to go extremely far because guess what? You're my granddaughter. Question. Uh, some of us uh, said don't forget to send Cheryl. 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 Oh, Cheryl. Cheryl. Her salad dressing. Your salad dressing is at my mom's house. So. You know where she lives. I'll have her call you tomorrow, and you can just go by and pick it up. And again, my mom is contacting, so she'll probably put it in the bag for you when you're on your way, and she'll put it on the porch, and then you, you can just grab it, and you'll be straight. Questions? Guys, I had a great show. I had a great time. Uh, Rob, I'm going to steal one of these lollipops because I think it looks amazing. So, yeah, you gotta take a picture of it first. Oh my god, yeah. really? Can you okay. wait to show him? <laughs> no, no, no. Boy, you look so, good. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever guys, seen you. Guys, thank you. Little <laughs> yeah, lamb, I, I really like lamb. So, guys, listen again, we've done 10 classes. Now, here's the deal if you can tell me, name all 10 classes that we've done. I will ship you two salad dressings to you, and I will even pay for the shipping and handling. First person, and I bet some of you guys are going to have to go. Let me give you a hint. You can go to YouTube and find all ten. That's the hitch. Yes, right. Um, Alvin Smith said, any updates on the recruiting season? On the seasoning? Yes. No, no updates on the seasoning album because we kind of put it on the back burner just because we got so much going on. And this is the guy that I was talking about earlier, guys. Uh, believe it or not, he's turning into an awesome, awesome, awesome relationship with us. So, uh, with me, uh, he's, he's kind of giving me some, some spiritual guidance, and I really appreciate it. Uh, motivating me. I really appreciate that too, Alvin, man. And I look forward to our relationship growing even more, man. And I want to thank you. Thank you very much. Um, it was enjoyable talking to you yesterday because I felt kind of a little down. And after that, man, look at here. It kind of picked me up, and I've been rocking ever since. Okay, any more questions? So, first person that sends me a messenger at Kube's Culinary Creations Messenger, all name all 10 classes. I'll ship you out uh, salad dressing for yourself and maybe for a gift for a friend at no charge. Guys, thank you. Remember, wear your mask, wear your mask, wear your mask, and social distance. Uh, Alvin said much love to my baby. God bless you. Thank you guys so much.